everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Renegade Platinum. On the last episode, we headed into Orberg City and into that mysterious house next to the mines to go challenge Steven, the ex-champion of the Hoenn region. And uh, he had the same Pokemon that he's, as he did before, and he managed to take care of a bunch of ours, but we managed to beat him. Yay! didn't really give us much. He just gave us some money and that was it. But we can re-challenge him whenever we want. So, hooray. But, this episode, we have one more Pokemon to get. And we're done stalling. We're heading to the top of Mount Coronet to go get the original one. Which we've technically <laughs> owned in the past. But it was a mistake. So, we're doing it for realsies this time. We're closer to this entrance, so we're gonna just take the long way. Now, the way we're about to do it was never available in the original games because the event that distributed the Azure Flute never came out in the US. It came out in Japan, didn't come out here. The only way to get this Pokemon that we're going for was from event distributions, which I managed to get when I was, uh, when I was that age. Because I never lived next to a, uh, like a Toys R Us before, because that's where they usually did them. Until I moved down to the cities when I went to college, and I was like, oh, this is perfect! I can go, I can go to a Toys R Us now and go get this mysterious Pokemon. So that was the mysterious land I got mine from, not the top of Mount Coronet, from Toys R Us. A more mysterious place now than ever. And then a couple, like I think they started doing GameStop promotions after that. And even if, even when they did have the promotions, I still managed to miss them. But now, I still miss them, even though they're online. <laughs> I think there's, is there currently a promotion going on at the moment where there you can get like a shiny Pelipper if I just signed in? Maybe I should go do that before I lose it. Shiny Pelipper's a green boy. So I don't know if it's going to be like I have to use the item or if I'm just going to get there and it's immediately going to activate. I think it's the latter. I think we get there and it's immediately going to activate. So just in case things go wrong. We'll just save right there. Now, this platform right here has an image of a flute on it. It's not the Azor flute, because the Azor flute looks like this. Nothing like a flute. But they probably just wanted a normal looking flute. Can I get past this? I can. Because they have that little thing there. They have like another marker right here to symbolize like the this is where Cyrus did his whole thing with the red chains to get Palkian Dialga they just have this similar one over here for no reason but it does have a reason oh I'm glad I didn't step in the middle of it Cassie's Azure flute is making a sound would you like to blow into the Azor flute? Yes.
A glowing stairway appeared. That wasn't the first time we've done that whistle. Or the flute. I can't remember when we did it, but I think I pointed it out at the same time. I was like, oh, that made a weird, mysterious sound. Also, this staircase is a lot taller now, and the camera's been panned up a lot. So, yeah, we're about to go really high up. I didn't want to enter the music. <laughs> Cuz this is a creepy this is a creepy music for this guy. Arceus, level 80. This is the god. And I'm just going to say god because it it it's seen as the god of Pokémon and the god of humans in this world. It is stupidly powerful. It's a normal type at the moment, but all those plates we have, we can use them on it to do things. So we've also been warned that it has the move judgment. I'm actually curious. So is there a way for me to like not kill this thing? I thought the music stopped for a moment. I mean, if I switch, you know what? Get judged, Kendrick. You'll live. Got Hydro Cannon, okay. I wonder if it has like all of the starter, st like starter, all of the starter hyper beams. We'll see, let's just continue switching out. Because this fight is over already. Okay, it needs to recharge. We're going to catch it, so. There's no point in, in, like, attacking it at all. Oh, I started a sandstorm. Sorry, Arceus. Why are you using Hydro Cannon? Don't you have another move? Well, I guess Rosa got judged in her, in her own way. You know what? It's better if we use it on a Pokemon, right? Instead of us getting hit, let it, let's it, let it hit something. Luckily, we've had this Master Ball for a short time because we only got it when we did the Battle Marathon back in episode 120. <laughs> Instead of the Master Ball I wanted to have for this guy that I had to use on Ho-Oh instead. You might be a god, but you're still a Pokemon. It is said to have emerged from an egg in a place where there was nothing, then shaped the world. Well, I better enjoy my time here in the Hall of Origin. No one ever gets to be here. In fact, when I go back downstairs, I don't think I'm ever going to be allowed back here. The Azure Flute echoed hollowly. It appears to be meaningless using the Azure Flute here. Yep. 
The Azure Flute has lost its power now that we have the alpha Pokemon in our party. The Hall of Origin will never be seen again. I think my repel wore out? We haven't gotten to a fight yet, so maybe it hasn't. Oh, I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna destroy a poor defenseless Bidoof. Because that what that's what God wants. So what moves did it have? Recover, Blast Burn, Hydro Cannon, and Judgment. Yeah, so it had the Fire one, and it had the Water one. It had Revoker, and it had Judgment. The type varies with the kind of plate the user is holding. Just for now. So Arceus, or Arceus, whatever you want to call it, uh, its stats are bonkers. It has, it has a base stat of 120 in all of its stats, which makes it one of the strongest Pokemon in the game. Do 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 do. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to get the list of what Pokemon are equal or close to it. I don't think many are. I can't look up Pokemon by base stat total. I thought I could. Oh, here we go. There's the Pokemon by base stats. So the weakest Pokemon uh, that we can currently get is poor little Sunkern. It has a base stat of 30 in all of its things, which gives it a total of 180. But that's currently the lowest that we can see. And as we said, Arceus has 720 with a base of 120 in all of them, so it's four times more powerful than Sunkern. But in terms of Pokemon that can match up to it, uh, there isn't any. At the moment, no Pokemon that we can find has a total anywhere close to it. The closest one would be Mewtwo. And then Lugia, and Ho-Oh, and Rayquaza, and Dialga, and Palkia, and Giratina. All the box, all of the box art legendaries, except Groudon and Kyogre, I guess. They all have a base stat of 680, which is 40 less. There will be Pokemon introduced later that do get above 720. But they're not like a normal state of Pokemon. Luckily, we don't have to worry about those states yet. So, for now, we just get to live with the fact that Arceus is definitely the most powerful. Please be a Bidoof. 
I still can't believe the first Nidoran I ran into was a shiny. No, 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 no. I need... I need... a Bidoof in front of me now. Hi, pal. How goes it? You've been judged. Oh, sweet experience. So the thing about Arceus is that these plates give it a second function. Well, these plates have a second function when on Arceus. Arceus, 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 Arceus. So Arceus is normally normal type, but let's say I want to make it a fighting type. Well, I just have this fist plate here. Let's give it to Arceus. And it's fighting type now. In fact, it looks different. Because of its ability, it changes type to match the held plate. So I can have it be the only pure flying type by giving it the sky plate. Now it's the only Pokemon currently in existence. That's pure flying. Until next generation when they start introducing Pokemon that are actually pure flying. Oh, bird fight! Look at my bird! Oh, you think you're you think you're clever, huh? Also, Judgment was flying type there. It type gets changed. Now there is a sh there is there are shiny variants because they've already they already had to make 18 for 18 uh sprites for Arceus. You know, might as well make it harder and make shiny variants of all of them. And I say 18. Because they had to make a special variant of Arceus that wouldn't normally appear because the type exists as a glitch type, but just in case it ever did, like, manage to be brought in somehow. You go there. Also, I'm taking this item with me. So they gave it an unknown type variant, which doesn't exist anymore. They also had to add a fairy type variant because that got introduced later. Are there shiny variants of the other forms? I'm curious to find out what they look like now. Oh, that makes sense, okay. That's super simple. So, all of the the only thing that really changes when I give it an, when I give it one of the plates is that its ring and its face change color. Like the ring around its torso and like the color of its face would change. You'll see when I take this off. Yeah. I guess it's I guess it's fur instead of being white would be gold. Oops. But with that Pokemon in our possession, we now own all 493 that was available in generation 4. I wonder what I wonder what Rowan has to say. We've already heard Professor Oak accidentally by by FaceTiming him on, on, on the PC and then giving him a heart attack because we did it.
Can you hurry up and save so I can go show him off? Oh, he doesn't check my Pokedex. Since Oak is here. There is one person that'll give us something for our Pokedex. So... I already saved it. So, on the next episode of Pokemon Renegade Platinum, the final episode, there's one more person that we have to go fight. So, we're going to go run into them next part. So, until next time, hopefully you enjoy.